From A-list entertainers to politicians and athletes, tycoons and writers, we visited with them all. So let's talk about it with Rita Braver. Good morning, Rita. Good morning, Jane. Over the years, we've been able to bring our viewers interviews with some of the most fascinating people in public life. We always figure if we think they're interesting, you'll probably agree. Whenever I asked President Nixon, did he have knowledge of or was he involved in Watergate, I was assured by him personally he was not. There were past presidents. You've been quoted as saying that you think maybe you've had a better ex-presidency than presidency. Well, that may be true. Certainly my reputation uh, has been better in the post-presidential years. And future presidents. When was the last time you flew commercial? Donald Trump showing off his private plane. Gold here, gold fixtures in the bathroom. Right. That was a choice you, you made. That was a choice we made, and uh, you know, what tops it? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> and our first lady who tried to become president. So I'm wondering, how are you? I think I am good, but that doesn't mean that I am complacent or resolved about what happened. It still is very painful. It hurts a lot. Yeah. And the pain was apparent as well when we spoke to Senator Edward Kennedy about his brother JFK's love for his daughter Caroline. Uh, and little games they'd play, uh, and then they'd find uh, the great sense of uh, uh, joy that they uh, shared. Uh, and it's, it's difficult to talk about. We witnessed history through the eyes of those who were there. Civil rights pioneer John Lewis took us back to the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama, where he was brutally beaten in 1965. At this point, I could see lines and lines of state troopers. And we learned how spiritual leaders like that Dalai Lama experience joy. Not only just on the physical level, but mentally. Peace. Compassion. That's the real joy. Oh, he got it. We scoped out prodigies. That is huge. Including a very young Tiger Woods. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, except for in a tournament. Because I'm not relaxed in a tournament. I'm all pumped up and hyped and uh, I'm jazzed. We chatted with champions. When I went to the ballpark, I tried to uh, do things a little different sometime and make sure that the fans uh, uh, got their money worth. When I came through, I didn't have a role model. I didn't know that the young girls were supposed to run, jump, and skip. Oh, you try to be cool. <laughs> you try to convince yourself, you know, all right, this is another game, man. You know, I, I'm ready. And we introduced our viewers to some of the leading literary lights of our time. How do you feel about critics? Playwrights. I love every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get excited about them anymore because uh, either I outwitted them or I outlasted them or something. Poets. When we talk to our God in whatever language or however we see it, we use poetry. And how about making magic that inspired a generation of young readers? I never thought I was going to do that, but um, there is nothing better than that, is there? There's nothing better than that. We learned how titans of business think. You've had some stomach-churning days. Not very many, no. If the market is falling or something like that, that's opportunity for us. We got in the mood with the original Playboy. We were there to um, ignite the flame that uh, became the sexual revolution. I think, take some pride in that. And heard from musicians who defined entire eras. I said it before, I said it again. Black man will never be free in America. You still believe that? Black man will, never, will never be free in America. I'm living it. And we learned that even prima donnas worry about getting it right. Everybody's a work in progress. I'm a work in progress. I've, I've never arrived. I'm oh, still, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm still learning all the time. We put the biggest stars of the big screen onto your screen. 
Who knew Tom Hanks had a soft spot for typewriters? Isn't that a fine, manly, manly typewriter? <laughs> so many interviews. But for me, well, there are a couple I will never forget. Art Garfunkel's self-analysis. I know myself to be a creative guy. And I think my profile out in the show business is the guy over Paul Simon's right shoulder. And this irrepressible Oscar winner. So if you had to sum up Shirley MacLaine, who she is, <laughs> write me a headline, Shirley MacLaine. Oh no, <laughs> it's my phone too. That's good enough. I'm so That's good embarrassed. Enough. That's fine. I'm a musical comedy performer who dabbles in spirituality and jewelry. Everything will be all right. Da, 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 I'm so humiliated. <laughs> Still to come, a timeout with Mo Rocca. But first, Hi, Kathy. when a burden is a blessing. Oh. There you are.